The suspected driver involved in a horrific crash that killed three teen soccer players is now under police watch. She remains in the hospital until she can formally be charged. Local 10's Trent Kelly live in Aventura with more on this investigation. Trent. Yeah, after initially withholding her name for three days, officers with the North Miami Police Department are now identifying that driver as 31 year old Miriam Kulabelli. Kulabelli, we're told, still being treated here at Aventura Hospital for serious injuries as we now start to learn more about her lengthy driving record. North Miami Police standing guard at Aventura Hospital overnight, keeping close watch on Miriam Kulabelli. Officers confirming the 31 year old exotic dancer with a history of traffic violations now faces even more charges after she's accused of driving drunk and crashing her SUV into three teenage boys over the weekend. So I want to see what kind of woman is that take your life and three young boys got the future. That's why I want to see what kind of woman is that. The family of one of the boys speaking out on Tuesday after receiving very little information from police. That crash happening around 5.30 Saturday morning on Northeast 125th Street. The boys walking to a bus stop so they could attend a soccer tournament when cops say Kulabali lost control of her SUV. 17-year-old Richcarde Dumay, 15-year-old Lenz Desir, and 13-year-old Gedeon Desir all died at the scene. One, two, three, three. Their deaths coming as a shock to students at Miami Edison Senior High, the school holding a special memorial ceremony on Tuesday as new details now emerge about Kulabali's past. Local 10 confirming Kulabali worked as a dancer at the Body Adult Nightclub, although owners there say they aren't sure if she was working before the crash. Local 10 also obtaining Kulabali's driving record, showing several infractions, including speeding and driving with a suspended license. So officers tell us they do plan to charge Kulabali with three counts of DUI manslaughter and another three counts of vehicular homicide. The plan right now is for her to remain here at Aventura Hospital until she is well enough to officially be booked into jail. That's the very latest this morning live in Aventura. Trent Kelly, Local 10 News.